Hello friends, this is GB Shivakumar again and uh, uh, good evening actually uh, today actually I like to discuss about the roles and responsibilities of requirements for a business consulting right in any any project actually not only SAP it, it may be an Oracle or VB or JD AdWords whatever it may be right actually the business consultant is the one actually who is leading the the, 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 the requirement gatheration from the business so uh, you should not be more techie I mean I can say uh, you should not work as a technical person you should work on the business process procure to pay process order to cash and then actually plan to produce all these process right so he should know that the the, the business process not a SAP or Oracle or JD Edwards ERP right so what is a business consultant now the uh, question comes in mind okay so the business consultant is usually the part of more substantial business uh, consulting firm right is a main asset for any getting requirement for approaching the client whatever it may be okay if a particular person has a strong reputation or knowledge they can uh, be an independent business consultant also so for your example actually when you are become an independent uh, business consultant means you need to know the um, top to bottom or left to right of a business consulting uh, and if you are able or good in uh, receiving all the requirements from the business from the business then you will work as an independent consultant but for becoming an independent business consultant you should, you should learn some business minimum years of experience to understand what is procure to pay process what is a order to cash what is a plan to produce uh, uh, what is a uh, hire to retire all this first just i am telling you and other than that we have a barrowsing stock I mean, stock management inventory management uh, production planning all this mean uh, model related models erp or acm uh, knowledge in each business process is required okay the primary role of a business consultant is to help other companies uh, to optimize and improve their overall business model okay and they utilize the information available from that company to help with the simple and the complex uh, optimization issues okay so you should be able to primary focus on the uh, the business process of the concern of the of the organization is going to give consultation okay so it's nothing but a company having a firm uh, which was started by, a, uh, by some IT company or a product company for doing business consultation uh, uh, sharing to any other companies. I mean the, the, the particular firm who is giving the business consulting will be a business consultant uh, organization or who is getting the benefits from the team is a client, right? So. Uh, <coughs> So you should be uh, you should be able to analyze the complex business process, optimize that, simplify that, innovate that. So what are the possible utilization factors or information available? From that he can shape the business process to a new uh, mode of uh, or a new way of uh, innovation, right? That is uh, that is a requirement. So the users need to uh, understand or simply learn how what are the possible optimization in each area procure to pay or what to cash or plan to produce or hire to retire all this process right so he need to give a solution so a business consultants is usually a part of more a uh, substantial business consulting firm okay so as already told that is what actually it is a more is a more important person to uh, work as a friend and for, uh, for a uh, front end uh, for a functional or technical consultant to manage a business requirement so just i am giving a, i mean uh, based on my idea and uh, my uh, exposure to uh, business consulting i like to uh, give concern I, mean, I like to share some uh, i mean uh, the overview of a business consultant's roles responsibilities or requirements or skill set he need to possess right say for example uh, let us take on uh, ABC company uh, so we are uh, I mean they are the leading company in any uh, say for example manufacturing or a service industry so uh, compared to others right in the particular area Chennai or Bangalore or Mumbai or whatever it may be Delhi or whatever it may be 
so they are pleased to have a uh, business per consultant having good employee in studying the business process and find out the gaps how to fix the problems everything right so if you are if he is able to do that then they they will get more benefit right business and the the, the top management will, will will be more benefited with that right so uh, finally uh, if a dedicated consultants with a more ambitious attitude will help the uh, uh, abc company in an excellent place to grow uh, in their market reputation or whatever competitive market they can grow and become a number one right that is a requirement for a business consultant to make help the company to grow much in a wider aspect so uh, broader uh, aspect right so that is very important to get a number one in any any field any market right any region so the normally the market can be uh, studied at based on the regions or the applications they are using products they are manufacturing the size of the group all these things whether they have a diversified uh, business process is there all these things matter right so uh, i mean the business consultant should not hesitate to collect the requirement to interact with the user he should feel free to interact with the user discuss with them sometimes actually they they, they need to interact personally with the business user to uh, to uh, to gain a win win situation so these are the responsibilities for a business user for doing that he should possess good uh, communication first then a business process knowledge and then the way to handle any person uh, sitting before him either it may be a business lead or a business manager or a business user or a core user whatever it may be so these are the requirement he should uh, try to avoid the bore boredom uh, while discussing and he should encourage a business user to uh, avoid fatig environment and bring all the win to win situation he should not uh, end up with uh, a win to fail or uh, uh, some other i uh, mean uh, situation which is not accepted right so he should bring the win to win situation that is important and now we are going to discuss about the responsibilities or roles or requirement for a business consultant right so so you should be excellent in trade area for a new business opportunities and you should uh, travel to a new and ongoing client business process and then successfully uh, can able to pitch in uh, to an organization strategy to study a uh, new possibilities to the new clients and work with marketing and business analytics or a uh, commercial people to design a business plan and then presenting findings uh, to clients uh, with a proper solution to the problems they are facing and so uh, assist the it team as well as the client team to implement of implement the required changes as expected by the business right starting from business lead or business manager to end user say so the business user want to do some uh, enhancement in particular area want to cut short the um, Uh, transactions or they want to optimize the uh, performance of a report report running time or a transactions uh, running at a very far, i mean very slow rate they want to optimize or uh, improve the efficiency or optimization in the report running or transaction running so they need they need suggestion from the business consulting business consultant should work with the technical guys uh, both functional and technically find out the possible solution or work around solution or finding a proper technology or application to enhance the particular requirement of a business and make the main requirement for a business consultant is to make business more cheerful more happy in the day to day work that is a main role or uh, that is a expected thing from the business consultant right he is not the, the, whereas a business analyst can uh, can deep dive into the uh, in the existing business he can co correlate even work with the top management and then the business end users or core users or business lead or managers or it vendors i mean internal it deployment team and reporting to the top management to bring out success right he should act as a bridge but business consultant is different from the business analyst uh, business consultant should give innovative new ideas how to uh frame the particular solution or how to frame the particular logics or part- uh, how to uh, devise a particular um, 
process right p2p or otc but analysis is the one business analysis is the one is you should analyze the existing process by coordinating with all the stakeholders it teams business users top management that is the main difference so business consulting uh, uh, deals with the handling a new requirement or a new uh, client providing solutions right not uh, they they won't work in technically thing but business analyst is the one working on existing uh, project and working for the technical things whatever business is facing this is the main role between this um, two guys business analyst and business consultant okay so business consultant should assist the implementation of new cha- new solutions or changes follow up with the clients during uh, the discussions and after uh, doing transitions right so you should be a front end for it uh, firm to interact with the uh, business or a client do follow up with the clients during uh, the time of discussion and after transition and everything okay and remain their point of contact for ongoing business reviews and calls and everything so these are very important and say for example a business uh, uh, implementation consultant or a support consultant wants to gather some idea on a particular business so he need to collect all the requirements he need to ask them to uh, share the share their uh, doubts in a in a questionnaire pattern in an excel sheet or something and then actually he can share with the business particular business lead who is in uh, contact so that uh, that guy will uh, discuss with the core business users and end users and g- give an answer in the excel sheet update the answer sheet for the, against each questions say for example how many purchase organization do we have a pp module in uh, the project uh, or implementation so do we need uh, say a consignment in uh, a uh, procurement process or subcontracting in procurement process what type of material and what is the uh, uh, i can say pricing methodology used in particular client place so all this is just i'm giving few example actually i will definitely prepare a video what are the possible things to analyze before uh, giving estimate and the solution in any uh, request for proposal activities in any uh, sab projects or other projects right or other uh, technology projects right erp projects so that i will create a new uh, video but here actually we need to uh, we are discussing about the roles and responsibilities or requirement or skills for a business consultant okay so the qualification what are the qualification so you should possess a bachelor's degree in engineering or a business consulting or a marketing or a general mba business ma- uh, business administration uh other related roles right and should if if is possessing some uh related experience in procurement or a, a sales or a manufacturing or a quality management or any erp skill or scm skills that will be an added advantage to him and if he is doing so processing the sap certification or related or uh, erp related uh, software uh, related certificates actually that will be a one another uh, added uh, diamond in his crown okay so uh, if he is having double bachelor's degree i mean uh, bachelor's with masters that also really good in case of business uh, business administration or engineering or whatever it may be finance or procurement supply chain erp whatever it may be logistics whatever it may be and you should minimum possess 3 plus years of experience in the consulting field right that is important for getting into the very big company you should have some minimum 3 years experience in the small firm and uh, uh your firm will grab uh, only the uh, the current uh, knowledgeable persons or uh, the persons who is having a recent market trends right they should be uh, uh, i mean uh, expected in the uh, in their in their company that is important and strong written and verbal communication and preparing documents to document all the whatever the requirements he gathered from the business he should be able to document it and share with the technical and functional team and the and the it firm right whatever he is working what company is working he need to share with his colleague so for that he need to possess a good writing and speaking skills either in english or required no, uh, language right it depends on the zone or region is working country is working right and uh, he should possess robust 
interpersonal capabilities you should actually uh, i mean i can domination in the sense you should be uh, dominate in the knowledge not in the attitude okay that is important dominate in the sense you should be good in knowledge compared to a, a business user or a business leader or a business manager he is able to analyze the different sectors in business say retail manufacturing healthcare finance and bank and finance uh life sciences pharma then uh discrete manufacturing repetitive manufacturing process industries so consumer goods fast moving consumer goods consumer goods oil and gas so uh, industry specific solution whatever it may be actually aerospace or agriculture even uh, i can say higher education uh, all these things actually they, the industries need sap implementation or the any other erp products for heat he need to have a good uh, skill in that okay and excellent analytical should uh, skills are required like uh, similar to a business analyst he should business consultant should have a good analytical uh, skills to uh, achieve a good problem solving attitude and uh, knowledge okay and he should be able to drive to work autonomous autonomously while still achieving goals right so you should be able to interact with the client scheduling calls and make them to satisfy Uh, whatever they are uh, expecting all this done uh, to be done and then we should have a valid uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, visa or passport having driving license to for the for its transportation for migration from one place to place if you want if the business wants to interact with him directly in the location he should travel to particular country or particular place actually he should uh, stay there and get a requirement and discuss with them and document everything and share with the technical team or a technical manager or who is leading the project all these things actually to be done to get their um, uh, get their understanding and absolute extract of what they requested what business is expecting whether the uh, the, the 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 technical team functional team can address the open gaps can able to provide solution you should work with the team and also you should work with the commercial team how much cost it will take for Uh, for for the team to hire and uh, what are the uh, hardware or software what are the risk and mitigations to be uh, expected what are the what is the scope what is the in scope and out scope and the the, the entire business flows and uh, say what are the limitations uh, what are the assumptions and uh, what will uh, happen if a particular model is not available what if happen if a particular model is implemented implemented if then analysis effort estimation cost how much persons to be uh, worked in a particular model from how long to how long each phases will be scheduled and executed when to be uh, go live so what is the date for the i mean uh, approximate date right actually i mean normally this uh, technical uh, cutover and uh, business cutover business go live or technical go live will have depends on the individual client or whether the readiness of the systems and the technical team all the matters actually the their cost everything sometime actually the business is not available due to their critical business uh, activities they are unable to do that so in that case actually the the whatever the plan they are doing will be postponed to some days right but all these things actually he should approximately or uh, roughly estimate uh, for this a particular client how much time they uh, they need for uat how much time is required for uh, go live activity or cut over activity how much time it will take for the approvals of the cost everything right so cr creation everything so all these depends when they are going to do a uh, kind of technical uh, go live and uh, uh, business go live all these things can be properly uh, documented by discussing with the business uh, i mean i mean clients and get the share it with the uh, idd idd vendor uh, Uh, where he is working so this is very important uh, for your business consultant he is a front end for any project right that is important so i hope the de- I mean, uh, in simple actually the business consultant able to uh, communicate with the uh, with the business teams stakeholders able to uh, express his views boldly and collect the able to collect the do- uh, requirement and document it able to share with the whatever they uh, gathered they he should able to express that to the uh, it team and get the solution and again share with them 
uh, the business, the client business teams, and then actually uh, he can able to schedule calls, and then actually he should be able to uh, travel uh, between the locations. So these are the basic requirement of the business consultant. I hope you can, uh, after seeing this video, you can understood the difference between the business analyst and the business consultant, right? So uh, I hope the details I have given here will be more suitable. I have even I have given for the both business analyst and business consultant. I have given their uh, educational requirement, the experience requirement, and the skill they need to possess, the attitude need to possess. So a business consultant should show. Even though they are not known to particular process, they need to. They are able to gather the process without uh, making the client to get uh, confused, right? Whether these guys are uh, knows this particular process or not. So like uh, uh, like the thinking actually, the client should not get while uh, while uh, he is they are discussing with the business uh, consultant. So business consultant should 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 be a good actor as well as a good mediator. Good communicator, uh, good yes, good spokesperson. That is uh, that is what uh, all the um, IT or a product companies are expecting, right? So thanks for watching my videos. This is G B Shyamkumar signing off.